So how can we connect our Teams meetings to Brightspace? There is technically a couple ways. My favorite is having made the meeting in our channel, we go into that meeting and choose to copy the link. So I've copied it, and it is worth noting that if this is a recurring meeting, that link doesn't change. I would then go to my course site in Brightspace, go to my content area, and my favorite way is to go to a weekly lecture link. I'd maybe make that as a module in my content area, click that, choose to upload slash create. Specifically, I wanna create a link, post that URL there and put a obvious title like weekly meetings. Again, my students should have got this added to their calendars and sent to them, but this is just multiple ways. Then when they go to content, they can click here and click to the meeting that way. I could also do something like post that link in an announcement. Again, big fan of sending it multiple ways. Now, technically there is other ways Teams is integrated to Brightspace. If you go to your more in the nav bar and I go to course tools, there is Microsoft Teams. And of course I can customize my nav bar. There is some videos out there about that, but by default it has Microsoft Teams and if I or my student clicks that, it's gonna take me to that landing page where we first started making our meeting. So the page that has all of our teams so you or your students could scroll down and join the team and see it that way. Also worth noting that Teams is now a little more integrated. If I go to my content area, I can go to a module. Again, let's use the weekly lectures link area as an example. If I click the existing activities button and then choose external learning tools, I can then add MS Teams meetings to my site and it'll show up in the bottom. If I wanted to, I could edit the properties in place and change the meeting or the title of this to something else, say office hours maybe. And then I want to click update to change my name. Great. So now if I say go view the topic, what I will have is the Teams interface within Brightspace. And thus I could create a new meeting, but it is important to note that this is not automatically syncing to your course team. I would actually have to invite my team. I'll show you what I mean in a sec, but otherwise you can see I have the same title. I could manually invite each classmate to the course, uh, any additional speakers I might need, or I can invite the channel. If my team's been activated, I should be able to see it, scroll down and go in and manually invite the channel. And then otherwise it's the same as I did before. So technically this is another way of setting up my meetings. My personal preference is to go to the channel and it manually invites everybody, but you may prefer this. I did want to show both. Of course, once I'm done with the meeting, I would just send it. And then the meeting would again get sent to all the people who are part of it. And now within this page, it would actually list the meetings I have scheduled for today. Again, my students would click in and see the meetings as long as they were invited. Remember, you in this case have to manually invite them. If you've already done your meetings in your Teams, this whole process is not needed. This is just another way of setting up meetings. I personally prefer the other, especially because you can see it only lists the meeting I actually made within this Brightspace interface. Other ones I have scheduled outside of it aren't listed, so that could cause some confusion for people. And again, maybe you stick with the other method we already went over.